The construction of the Great Wall of China is a fascinating story that spans centuries and involves multiple dynasties. Here's a brief overview of its history. 1. Origins The construction of defensive walls in China dates back to the 7th century BC when various states built their own walls to protect against invasions from rival kingdoms and nomadic tribes. These early walls were not connected and did not resemble the Great Wall we know today. 2. Qin Dynasty The construction of the Great Wall in its earliest form began during the Qin Dynasty, 221-206 BC, under the rule of Emperor Qin Shi Huang. The emperor wanted to protect his newly unified empire from northern invaders, particularly the Xiongnu nomads. The walls built during this period were made of rammed earth and served as a northern frontier defense system. 3. Han Dynasty the Han Dynasty, 206 BC, 220 AD, saw the extension and reinforcement of the Great Wall. The walls were expanded further north to defend against the Xiongnu, and watchtowers were constructed along the wall to improve surveillance and communication. 4. Ming Dynasty The most well-known and extensive construction of the Great Wall took place during the Ming Dynasty, 1368-1644, the Ming rulers faced threats from various nomadic tribes, particularly the Mongols. Emperor Zhu Yuanzhang, the founder of the Ming dynasty, ordered the connection and fortification of existing walls and the construction of new ones, using bricks and stones instead of rammed earth. The goal was to create a formidable barrier that would deter invasions. 5. Purpose and Design The Great Wall served several purposes— it was primarily a defensive structure to protect the Chinese Empire from raids and invasions. It also served as a symbol of national unity and prestige, showcasing the strength and power of the ruling dynasty. Additionally, the Great Wall facilitated border control, trade regulation, and the collection of taxes on goods passing through the wall. 6. Construction Techniques the construction of the Great Wall involved the labor of millions of workers, including soldiers, peasants, and prisoners. They used a combination of manual labor, wooden scaffolding, and simple tools to build the wall. The construction methods varied depending on the terrain, with sections on plains built differently from those in mountainous areas. 7. Length and Extent the total length of the Ming-era Great Wall is estimated to be around 13,000 miles, 21,196 kilometers, although some sections have eroded or disappeared over time. It stretches across northern China, from the east coast to the west, traversing deserts, mountains, and grasslands. It's important to note that the Great Wall of China was not an impenetrable barrier— and various nomadic tribes and even some invaders managed to breach it at different times in history. Nevertheless, it remains an awe-inspiring architectural feat and a symbol of China's rich history and cultural heritage.